Good morning from Wallaby, Belgium, where it is looking to be a very hot and busy day. The forecast today was thunderstorms, so we ended up booking on a bit of an off chance, and the weather has turned around. We are making our first stop off at Conda. and um, I think it's pretty true what people say it starts off sluggish because it had the elements to be forceful but it was quite you could feel the drag on the train we were back row so we got very lucky with that but yeah I want to give it another go later um, the, because it was going so slow I think the only forces you really felt were pushing you down and it was a little bit rough but I'm gonna yeah I'm gonna give it a fair chance and do it later Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. 
Well, Tiki Waka wasn't bad at all, actually. Um, very short, but not very painful. Nice and whippy. Quite fun. Don't know if it was worth 45 minutes, but we enjoyed it. Uh, we're now going to do the Revenge of Tutankhamun, I think. Yes, I look maximum tourist now. Uh, we've just come off Revenge of Tutankhamun. What were your thoughts on that? It was like a jewel at Alton Towers. It was. Very good. It gave me Tomb Blaster vibes uh, from Chessington, but the fire effect on that was mind-blowing. Really, really fun and just like a random detour. I completely forgot that ride was here. So, I don't really know where we're heading next. Just see where the day takes us, I guess. It's dreaded, it's not real, I'm going back in front. I am scarred. Oh. We did full sign, I'm so cool. <laughs> Pulsar Fox. <laughs> oh no, that's really hot. <laughs> well, there were three attractions that I really wanted to do here, which was Conda, Pulsar, and Popcorn Revenge. We have done Conda. We have just had a amazing ride on Pulsar. Really couldn't fault it. Um, yeah, you said you'd do it again for like under an hour's wait, didn't you? Four or five minutes. Yeah, it's fun. That says how good it was. So yeah, we're gonna go find Popcorn Revenge and possibly do Loop Guru if the queue gets less because the queues are massive today. <laughs> popcorn revenge that was actually really impressive i can see why people recommended that now um i won 
Yeah, you won by quite a lot. I, I won the, the other one though, so we're tying mm. currently. I'm just gonna have a mooch now. It is sweltering hot. Well, I have just come off my final ride of Condor. Um, only getting to ride it a couple times today because it is busy and I would much rather just chill now. Um, but it has definitely sped up throughout the day. I will give it that. It was, um, I think for me personally, I found it to be more of a um, positive G than an airtime course. So there definitely were really good pops of airtime though. Um, I still kind of mentally rate it a little bit lower than Goliath at Wallaby Holland, but that was obviously years ago. I don't know how that rides now. But yeah, it really, really picked up the pace there. Um, I'll stick a POV in after this, but it is just an incredible coaster and I'm so glad we came out here to ride it. <laughs>
Belgium's answer to apocalypse. I okay, don't even want to think about how a free fall feels, but this for beer. Oh. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, Conda. <laughs> no. Conda. That big black one. Okay, we could just be at the top yet. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, I don't want to come back down. No, I'm just like. No. 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 no, 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 oh my hands are so sweaty, I can't even hold on, oh, wow, no, 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 I screamed so loud, my ears are so quick. Oh, my ears hurt. Oh, See you later. Bye. Never doing that again, thank you. <laughs> so, that concludes our day at Walby, Belgium. Um, unfortunately, we didn't get to ride Loop Guru. Uh, I know that ride queues are supposed to close quite early here, but at 20 past five, it was shut. Uh, park open till six, so I'm really gutted about that. But overall, we got to do everything we wanted to. Camille got me to brave a drop toe, which I'm very, very proud of. And we got a free Coca-Cola on the way out. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Hi, so just a little bonus bit. We're back in the hotel. Feeling rough. Don't judge. Um, I thought I'd just explain a little bit about the travel and stuff. So we stayed in central uh, Brussels near the South Railway Station. And we trusted Google Maps to get there and it did a really good job. So we got a bus, uh, the 71 bus, um, which you just tap your card as you get on the bus from what we could understand. And then that covers you for something like an hour and a half or something, um, whatever buses you need to get in that time. Uh, it then transferred us onto a coach, which was a little bit different. They actually recommended that we get an app for that. And basically you get an app, it gives you a ticket and then you scan, you validate that ticket by scanning it on the bus on this little screen. So yeah, the public transport here was really easy to use. Google Maps was definitely a good source. Um, it took us just under, an, well, just over an hour, sorry, from the hotel to get there. And it was some of the, it was easier public transport than the UK, honestly, very reliable. Um, we were a little bit bummed about rides closing so early. I get they probably just want to clear the queues by closing time, very unlike the UK. So yeah, um, the werewolf, I think it was called, ended up closing at 20 past five, which we thought we had plenty of time to get there. Um, so just bear that in mind, keep an eye on the queues when it gets to like an hour or so before close and how that might affect the end of the day. But overall, we had an amazing time. I think that Pulsar had to be a highlight just because of how absolutely terrifying that thing is up close. Um, Condo was definitely better later on in the day. I don't think it is as good as it was hyped up to be. That might just be how it was going today, but Pulsar definitely stuck out. The drop tower was something that was actually pretty good and it's encouraged me to maybe give him a chance in future. And we've had a really lovely day overall. So sorry for several outros, but I thought I'd just give you a bit of extra info. Thank you for watching and uh, see you next time. Bye. <laughs>